first tonight, three suspected killers, two of them teenagers, answer to charges in a tragic triple murder case. It is a shocking case we've been on top of since last July when two men and a woman were gunned down inside a Providence apartment in what police believe was a botched robbery attempt. One suspect has already pleaded guilty in connection with the crime, and today three co-defendants faced a judge. Ivy News reporter Nicole Estefan is live outside Providence Superior Court with the latest developments. Well, I can tell you this was an emotional day in the courtroom. We're talking about six families here, three families for the accused and three families for the victims and altogether nine counts of murder. All rise. One man, two teenagers, between them nine counts of murder. Not guilty as to all counts. Not guilty to all counts, Your Honor. Not guilty pleas were entered for Russell Burrell, Quandell Husband, and Timothy DeBrito in Superior Court on Monday. The charges stem from a triple homicide in this General Street home last year. It claimed three young lives, Shamika Barros, Michael Martin, and Damian Cologne. Investigators say the three men conspired to rob the home and during the process of that robbery, shot and killed all three victims. The eldest of the accused, Timothy DeBrito, has a lengthy criminal past. He was recently sentenced to 50 years in prison on an unrelated shooting last May involving a romantic rival. As the Brito left the courtroom on Monday, he stared down the prosecution. Now, a fourth man, Donovan Hall, waived indictment in this case and pleaded guilty. He will be sentenced at a later date. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we will have very emotional reaction from one of the victim's cousins. We're live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom. Nicole Estefan, Eyewitness News.